Hi friends, thank you so much for coming back to Craft With Me today, and welcome if you're new here. My name is Alyssa, and today we're going to make this cute little library pocket mini album, and I'll show you how I make my library checkout cards. They're super simple, but a YouTube friend had asked if I could show how I make mine, so I'm going to do that as well. But this little mini album here measures just three and a half inches by four and a half inches. And I put love on the cover and then added this cute leaf trim to the edge and on the back as well. And when you open it up, first I just washi tape this little rainbow card over here. And then each page is the library pocket, or it can just be a regular pocket if you want. But in here, I just made my own little library checkout card. And so I'll show you how I make those as well. And I did back it with some extra scrapbooking paper. So it's kind of like a little journaling card. Added a butterfly, of course. And then over here, I just have a sticky, a little rosette. And I found that this seed packet specifically fit perfectly inside of the pocket as well. So it's too bad fall and winter are coming. <laughs> but this would be a cute little spring project and then put some seeds inside. And then over here, I just have see good in all things. I left some of the pages blank because I thought smaller photos would be so cute as well. But here's just another little library card. This one I didn't even write on. So you have space to journal there. And then another sticky note over here be happy on this side and then these are just three by four project life cards so you could put three by four cut aparts or any type of journaling card inside as well those fit nicely and then this is just the end i thought a photo would go nicely here too and then you could just write a little last message there and that's everything for this cute little mini album so you can probably tell I'm just doing like the tab binding where you just glue it in. So it's pretty simple and I hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial. So go ahead and grab some paper and we can create one of these together. So for this project, I pretty much just went through my scraps to get all my pieces. So let's just start with the cover, which is super simple and easy. Most of the paper that I'm using today is from the Bright Floral Paper Pad by The Paper Studio. So this is just an eight inch wide by four and a half inch tall paper. And I'm just gonna flip mine over to the eight inch side here. And we're just gonna score at three and a half and four and a half. That's gonna create our little spine. And of course we can just fold those scores over. And that's it for the cover. So we'll set that piece to the side. And then for the pages, you're just gonna need four sheets of three and three quarter by four and a half. So, I'm just going to grab one for now and you want to score at the three and three quarter inch side just at a quarter of an inch on the left. So I'm using single sided paper so I actually want to hold it this way with the blank side facing me because the pocket's going to go here so I don't mind if it has a white background. So I'm just going to score on the left side here at a quarter of an inch. So I'm just going to turn it, rotate that, and score it a quarter of an inch. But it's going to be held this way. And then I'm actually going to fold my little tab back. Again, just because I have single-sided paper. So eventually I'm going to stick this into my book like that. So it'll flip and then we'll have the pattern showing on the other side. So that's pretty much it for all of the pages that we're gonna do. 
and we're going to do the pockets separately. So for the pockets, you'll just need four sheets of four and a half by four. And these were just creating pockets, of course. So I'm just going to grab one of them and shift this down here. So now we're working on the pocket and we're pretty much just going to score at half an inch on three sides. So just make sure that you have two tabs at the four and a half inch side. So I'm just gonna do half an inch here and then four over here. And then the other half inch is obviously gonna be at the bottom of your pocket. So we can rotate that to the four inch side and just score at half an inch. Okay, I'm gonna flip it that way just so you can see it a bit better, but that's what we're gonna have. And then we're just gonna cut out our corner squares here. And I just like to go at an angle like that. And then you'll see for my first book that I showed you here that I did cut out this little shape here. So you can do that or you can leave your pockets as they are. But if you have a punch or a die that will help you cut that out, definitely feel free to use that. But what I did was I just grabbed like my little jar here or pencil holder and I just used the bottom of it as a guide. So please just excuse all my stuff. I'm <laughs> I'm just going to pretty much line it up, you know, sort of like this and just trace the bottom part of my pencil holder here just to give me that shape. You can use a cup or something like that or whatever you have. So I'm just going to trace it and that's what it's going to look like and then i'm just going to cut that out and then i'm going to keep this piece here just to use as a guide for my other pockets so set that to the side and then you also want to just cut these tabs at an angle as well. Just so you don't see them. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and fold our tabs back, you know, like a regular pocket. And I always like to make sure the bottom tab goes over top of the side tabs because, I don't know, I guess it doesn't matter, but when you put things inside of the pocket, you don't want it to get stuck on this bottom tab or anything like that. So I just put it over top of the other two tabs, but not really sure if that even matters. So anyway, we have that pocket. I'm going to bring back my page here. And the pocket's just gonna get glued right here onto my blank side. So we can just pop some glue on our tabs. And place that right onto our page. Obviously not onto the tab there. and we get a cute little pocket. Okay, so we're gonna do that three more times, but before I do that, I'm just going to show you how I make my little library card, library checkout card. So first I'm just gonna move my scoreboard and I'm just going to grab a plain colored cardstock. 
This is just a three by four card. And I'm going to grab my little ruler and just a pen, any color. And so I'm going to hold it this way first. And I'm going to draw just three horizontal lines to start. Well, now they're vertical, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so I'm just going to eyeball it. And I leave a little bit of space at the top there. So maybe like half an inch or so. And I just eyeball it and draw my lines. And then maybe I'll leave about like a quarter of an inch between each line, roughly. Okay, so first I'll just draw three lines like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and draw a vertical line this way. And use my ruler as a guide. So just from the third line down, I'll just draw a little line there. Is this smudging? Something keeps smudging. That's okay. And then I'll just turn it again and continue drawing lines all the way down. And it really doesn't have to be perfect. Let's see, I'll do one more. All right, and there's my little library checkout card. And then you could ink it up, alter it, whatever you want to do. Um, you could even write like author and title underneath. So I guess I'll do it for this one. So underneath the first line, I'll just write author. Underneath the second line, I'll write title. And then in this small box here, I'll write date due. And then in the box next to it, I'll write borrower's name. In my horrible writing right now. so that it looks more like a checkout card. And then, yeah, you could leave it as that. You could do the same lines on the back, but I'm just gonna back it with another piece of cardstock here or patterned scrapbooking paper. And this is just three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So you get that little border. And then I'll just place that over top. And that's my simple little library card. And I can put that into this pocket here, like so. So I'm going to go ahead and create my other three pocket pages, probably off camera. And then I'll come back and glue all my pages in my booklet with you.
All right, so I'm done with all my pages. I'm gonna bring my cover back. And now we are just gonna simply glue these in to the spine area here. So I'm gonna flip my tab backwards again. So I'm just gonna pop glue right onto my tab there on my blank side and just attach it to the right of this score line. And just make sure that I can close the cover up. And then I will do my next page. Glue that in the same way. And just place it right next to the tab of my first page. and so on and so forth. This one is shifting. <laughs> All right, so that is the whole booklet and all of our fun little pockets. You should probably let it dry before <laughs> you start flipping through it, but now we can just go ahead and decorate. So for my cover, I was actually thinking too of making a few more of these and maybe giving them to some of our librarians. Wouldn't that be cute with the little library checkout card in there? Just as like a thank you gift because I take my daughter to story time all the time at different libraries and all the librarians are just so great. They're so kind and helpful. So what I'm gonna do is just foam tape this label and it says grateful, because I'm grateful for all of the librarians. And I'm just gonna stick it down here. And honestly, that might be my only decoration for now. This would also be really cute if you want to add some charms or like a mini dangle or tassel to the side. But the paper is just so pretty as it is. So for now, I'm just going to put that on the cover. And then over here, I am just going to washi tape another little 3x4 cut apart just to the inside cover here. Even a small picture would go so nicely in there. But my library card's in there, so that's all set. You can embellish your pockets even further. This page does not want to stay. Can you please just stay in here? <laughs> okay, over here, let's just put another little journaling card. This says shine on with an extra little writing sheet on the top there. Oh, that's a perfect little fit. And again, you can put small photos over here 
other small little journaling cards. Maybe I will decorate this pocket a little bit more. And by that, I mean probably just put a little flower here with some foam tape. And then I'll just glue that little leaf on. And over here, I have another little journaling card I put together with a butterfly there. I think that's cute poking out. And then I'm just going to put Embrace the Journey over here somewhere. Going to use foam tape again. Okay. My last little pocket here, I'm just going to stick some 3x4 Project Life cards. And I just love these colors. They kind of match the paper. So I'm going to stick my cards in this way. And let's just add one more little butterfly here. Okay. Now in the very back, I'm just going to take another three by four project life card because I have so many of these and I'm just going to glue it to the back there. And add just one more little butterfly sticker with more foam tape because I just like the dimension. And I'll just pop it in the corner there. And that's going to complete this little library pocket mini album. So it's definitely a cute little gift to give to somebody. Again, you could put small photos, seed packets. You could even stick like, I don't know, little sequin mixes inside. And even if they're a little bulky, it should be okay. It's like a mini book here. So I like the library card or the library checkout card for that. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial today. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more crafty fun and inspiration and leave me a comment down below. I just want to thank you all so much for leaving me such kind and encouraging comments all the time. They really mean the world to me. So I really do love reading all of your sweet words. So thank you guys so, so much. And I will see you all very soon in my next video. So happy crafting and huge hugs to all of you.